Should I put in here? Yep, where should I grab? Uh, this right here. There we go. All right, so right now I'm on the back of a horse. We're riding about six miles into the Colorado mountains and I'm getting dropped off for the next six days. I'm gonna be doing some camping and some scouting. Beautiful day for a ride. All right, we're about four and a half miles in, getting pretty close to our drop site. Got two other horses that are carrying gear. And, uh, and I'm gonna be left here for the next seven, eight days. Yeah, this seems great. That wind's not whip whipping through nearly as bad right here. All right, so we've made it to our final destination, at least for tonight. So we're unloading the gear and getting ready for a night up here at 10,000 feet. Thanks, hostess. Appreciate the, uh, the ride in. Safe travels back. Try my best. All right, well, in these two packs right here is all the gear that I need and food that I need to survive eight days out here in the mountains. I've been prepping for this trip for about a month, and I still don't feel like I'm ready, but we're here now. It's do or die. Some friends right now are on their way hiking up. I got the night shift driving last night. We drove 18 hours, splitting it off between three guys, and uh, I only got about an hour of sleep, so I'm gonna try to get a little nap in before they get here. Whew. What's going on? I'm gonna do it. All right, so I found a spot that I'm gonna set my tent up. My first rule of action is to level out some of the ground here. It's pretty level already, but you can see some spots here that have deep pockets in the soil. You can kind of see it's a little bit sloped down. We like that for when there's rain runoff. And all the good news is my buddy's made it up. Got some company now. Next, I'm gonna get some pine bows to sit underneath my tent. This will help even out the uneven ground as well as keep me insulated from the weather we're supposed to get. All right, got my pine bows laid down. I gotta find my tent footprint. All right, mattress is done. All right, I've got the tent all set up for the most part. I just threw all my stuff inside for now. But it's uh, it's getting dark out, so we're gonna go up to the top of this mountain. Let's see if we can try to glass some animals. Brought some binoculars with. I'm gonna sit on top of this ridge. Let's see if we can see some elk. Mm -hmm. I'm more just getting my bearings. 
crazy here. Second. That's crazy. It's actually closer to the top. We just finished glassing, saw our first elk. Now we got a little fire ripping, cutting ourselves some firewood. We're supposed to get snow pretty soon, so it doesn't hurt to stock up. It's probably about mid 20s up here. It's getting chilly. So we're gonna get a little campfire going, cook up our dinner for the night, and get some get some shut eye because it's been it's been a long day. Oh boy! Wood. <laughs> nice wood. <laughs> we're up early this morning at about 6 a.m. Went and did some glassing. Now we're gonna grab some firewood because it's calling for rain today. So we're gonna see if we can't find some dry wood and keep it dry. Here she comes. Happy it's snow. Yeah, same. For now. I would rather have snow. It actually looks Dude, exactly this is, the same. Dude, this is next level now. Yeah, now we're this this is, feeling good now. All right, we are looking at our our first couple elk that I've seen in the trip. Trying to get some video footage. You can see that there's like two cows bedded down. It's about 10 o'clock right now. Maybe uh, 35, 40 degrees. Elk are so big. Feels good to get eyes on them. It's about four sitting down there. Look like they're all cows. We made it all the way to the top of the crest. We're gonna go onward, but got a little bit of weather. It's starting to snow. They just bounce out of my hand. Yeah, yeah I can't catch one. They look like little gumdrops. They're heavy when they hit you. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like a snowflake. <laughs> it's like a tail. <laughs> probably went on like a two and a half mile hike. So we're gonna start heading our way back to camp and probably set up a fire for the night. It's two in the afternoon now. Downhill. Downhill. Dude, it's dumping. It's dumping. I'm just sleeping. Yep. I almost blew myself up. Alright, I'm hungry, but I'm trying not to create any extra condensation kind of tough when you're inside the tent, but we got the door open. Hopefully that helps. All right, day number two went pretty good. Nice night to just hang out inside the tent. Hopefully don't cause any issues for ourselves later on down the week. Yesterday after nap time, we ended up getting about maybe an inch and a half of snow. So it's piled on up here. We've seen a few elk up here this morning. Right now it's about 
7 a.m., 7.30. Gonna sit by the fire and have some brekkie. Since the snowfall last night, or yesterday rather, I have been getting a lot of condensation inside of the tent. So I'm gonna see if we can't figure that out today. Biscuits and gravy. Sounds like we're gonna go out and do some scouting. Kyle and I are gonna go hike a fair bit. It's about one right now. We're gonna be out till dark. And it's uh, back to the campfire to warm up and have some food. Kyle and I found ourselves a pretty nice glassing spot here. You can see all of the ridges in the bowl. That's a that's a shooter bowl. The one on the left's a shooter bowl. It's a big rack, dude. Confirmed the one on the left is a bowl. That thing's huge. I can't like see the tines or anything on here, but I can see when he puts his head down like that, it's moving like four feet above his head. Oh my god, dude. We saw a get a bull elk about a mile away, somewhere down here. We got some video footage of it. But I realized my feet were pretty wet inside my boots, so I took the socks off and we're trying to get some of this condensation out of there. Kyle's still hot on elk up here. And we might have some on this uh this ridge that's just behind this pine tree. It's super beautiful up here. One of the one of the better views I've seen in a while. We are so far out here, there's like, there's nothing. I can't see anything. We got a little campfire going up here. We're on uh, almost an hour of me trying to dry my feet out with not much luck on top of this little gulch. All right, just got down off the mountain. We've got relatively dry boots. Doesn't look it from the outside, but the inside feels a lot nicer. We've got a fire started, some water boiling for dinner. See you in the morning. Tomorrow is elk opener for second rifle. It's been open for a while, but for second rifle tomorrow. We gonna try. This morning we were blessed with three to four inches of nice new powder. I'm up on top of my spot, about a mile and a half hike, straight vertical from camp. You can see we got some fog right now and it's gonna make it a little tough to see anything going on but it's opening day. After many trials and tribulation, finally got the fire started. Still not great for visibility though. We still be warm. Snow's coming down really hard. It's about 5 p.m. Just got down off the mountain. Tough day for an opener. Well, the snow kept up, so see you in the morning for a uh, another try. Day number, is this day number four? Five. Five. All right, four day five. five. We got a fire going. We got ourselves about six inches of snow yesterday, and it is cold today. Probably about mm, 12 degrees right now, gonna get colder. 
Still battling some tough visuals, but it's starting to clear up a little bit. It's about time to get to about time to get back to my spot. All right, made the hike. Now let's get a fire started. Got some better vision. Still chilly. It's probably like 15 degrees outside. My nose is dripping. But now I can actually see stuff. Alright, it's like 6 degrees out right now. Boiling up some water. Um, I'm gonna put a full Nalgene of boiling water in my sleeping bag before I get in it tonight because it's gonna be cold. Like, get down to two degrees cold. <laughs> it's, it, cold. it's so cold. It was cold. I mean, look at all this. Is anybody else's fingers like not working properly? Like neither one? All right, we spent the morning getting some firewood cut because it's gonna be another cold night tonight. But the sun came out and started drying some stuff out. Tent and sleeping bag are voided of condensation. But right now I'm going on a hike up to the top of this mountain right here. We're gonna see if we can't get an elk today. My buddy Brody's staying back at camp in case I push something downhill. And then the other two guys are heading off in a different direction to see if they can do the same thing. But we've got about two and a half mile hike going from 8,000 foot elevation up to 10.5. I'm at about 9,500 feet. You look at that, that's a, that's an elk bed right there. All right, reach the peak. 10,000 feet, baby. Now we gotta be quiet though, because there could be elk anywhere. Alright, the sun went down, nothing ever came to fruition tonight, about a half mile away from camp. I'm looking forward to sitting down at the campfire and having some water. Oh, really thought it was going to be tonight. Alright, day number seven, I made my hike up to the meadows again this morning. Another two mile hike, started at 6am and uh, saw a lot of new trail, but no elk. So we're gonna head back down to camp. Boys are talking about wanting to pack up and change camping spots today. So we'll see uh, We'll see what we end up doing. It is a beautiful country out here though. I'm really enjoying being out here in the Rockies. Got everything all packed up into one backpack. Now we've got a five mile trek back to the trek. Party on. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of weight. Loosen that strap, boy. Right. We're about two miles into this thing. We've got five. So, three to go. Definitely the hardest hiking I've ever done. I think my pack is probably about 60 or 70 pounds. 
just because I was the guy that brought a cast iron and camera gear. Ugh. We did it, boys. We did it. Yeah. Buddy. Yeah, Isaac. We did it, buddy. Nice job. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> oh. We're at dusk back to the truck. Now it's time for some pizza and bowling. <laughs>